TV and radio personality Wadra Hartley sees pregnancy and motherhood as being completely compatible with fitness and wellness. And the advice she offers is all based on personal experience. Zaki met up with Wadra to find out more about how to be happy, healthy and fabulous while also being a mom. Fitness guru Wada Hartley believes in walking the talk and she was busy with her personal daily workout when Zaki arrived. My fitness journey has been full of ups and downs recently. The one constant is that this is the only body I have whether I like it or not. Whenever I'm feeling low, I do have a secret weapon that banishes the blues and this is Wada Hartley. Self-discipline is a key part of Wada's lifestyle but she applies it in a positive way. Wada! I've missed you. I've missed you too. How have you been? How have you been keeping up your fitness? That's why I'm here. <laughs> Wada, how do you make sure you get this time to yourself every single day? Well, I do schedule it. It's part of my life. It's part of how I function. And I honestly believe that every person should make at least an hour for themselves to exercise because it makes you a better, more functional human being in general. How did you find purpose in fitness? Well, it was a journey of discovery. I went through my transformation where I shed 15 kgs. And then a year and a half ago, I had a baby. I had my little son, Isa, and I gained 24 kgs with that pregnancy. And I lost that 24 kgs again with a balanced approach to health and fitness. What health advice do you swear by? Find something, anything that gets you to move. That is my first and number one rule to anyone. Something that you can see yourself doing every day, at least every day for the rest of your life or at least three times a week. What fitness and health trends should you avoid? I don't believe in following anything that restricts you. Any extreme diet, anything that says no this, no that, no sugar, no that, the minute you do that psychologically, it makes you focus on it. So what I need you to do now to get you back on track with your fitness is you're going to join me in my next hit class. Fine, let's do it. Yay! <laughs> Water makes adjustments for individual levels of fitness while maintaining the overall pace and energy of the class. Having put in a final burst of speed at the countdown, Zaki was ready to catch a breath and rehydrate. Water, you're crazy. Is that how you trained when you were pregnant? Yes, mostly. I just didn't do as much running towards the end of my pregnancy. I know that baby Isa also trains. He does. He does aquatics and water safety classes. We like to start them early. <laughs> but you must come and join us. Come see him swim. He's so cute. I would love to see him again. Over at the baby pool, proud dad Kashif was watching his son enjoy the water. Hello, Kashif. Hey, Hello, Isa. Oh, thank you very much. Kashif, what are some of the benefits of baby aquatics? Well, it helps with milestone development, water safety, just the confidence that he has around water. And you should see when he dives into it, just to give him that confidence later in life as well. What have you learned from Marta on her way back to her pre-baby body? Being motivated to actually stick with eating right, making sure you get the exercise in, planning your day and making the time to do all of those things. Very important. Kashif, I'm going to leave you three to play. Thanks, see you later. Kashif Samuddin has been at Wada's side throughout her motherhood and fitness journey and has documented his wife's progress in pictures. What advice do you have for moms out there trying to lose the baby weight? I would say don't compare yourself to anyone. Social media is both a friend and an enemy. I use it to inspire moms, but I always add that my story is still my story, their story will be theirs, and they should not compare. It takes your hormones up to a year to normalize. So what people generally say is nine months on, nine months off. I've heard some moms say all bodies bounce back. Is that true? All bodies have the potential to bounce back if you give it the right kind of training. We also need to take into account if a mommy has been suffering from postpartum depression. I felt like that. Fitness was my way of pulling myself out of the darkness, so to speak. What, what advice do you have for mommies out there who swear they just don't have time to exercise? We are going to prove them wrong today. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get a workout anywhere. Let's go. Okay. So Zach, this is really easy and a workout you can do anywhere. As long as you have a chair, you can do this workout. So you're going to step on and you're going to give me a squat at the top. Squeeze your bum as you come up, squat at the bottom, get back up. Because you know, as moms, we want to get our butts back 
to looking sexy and bikini ready once again. From there, we're just gonna do some push-ups. You don't have to go as low as we're going. And if you're still not strong enough, you can always get on the bench or you can do this on the floor on mat and you can just use your knees to help you go all the way down. Okay, and then the next exercise we can do, you're gonna squat down, bring your leg all the way over. It's gonna open your hips and it's gonna help you burn calories. And that's that. Have I worked hard enough to have a break in the shade? Yes, you have. <laughs> Let's go. Wardo, what is the big fat problem? The reality we cannot move away from is that South Africa has a very high obesity problem. Our highest obesity rates are among women. So it's something we need to change, but juxtapose that with also this whole pressure to look a certain way. And I'm very glad that there is a movement coming in where people are saying, you know what, embrace who you are, embrace your shape. You just need to be healthy. Whether you are a little bit chubby or a little bit skinny, as long as you can achieve all your goals for the day, then you're great. Wada, on your blog you wrote about changing your language. What does this mean and how does it positively affect us? It's very important to change your language in the way you speak about yourself. So instead of saying, I look so fat today in the mirror, which is often what women say, find something on yourself that you do like and say, well, I might not look my best right now, but hey, my hair looks great today. The minute you start programming your brain to think in a positive light, that is how you change the language of how you speak to yourself and how you relate to yourself internally. Wada, finally, what is your message? of self-love for everyone out there. Stop comparing yourself to other people, run your own race, and that way you can focus on your goals and get to wherever you want to be. And that would be self-love. Today I cannot be more thankful for Warda's wisdom, generosity and love. In a world that constantly tells us we are not good enough, Warda is a fierce supporter of self-love who's telling us that we are more than enough. <laughs>